Oh, man. Euro European Union discusses using zero knowledge proofs for digital IDs. You want an episode of the Black Mirror? You don't need to go watch one. Okay? We got it right here in real life. It's about to happen. The, the proposition here is to use zero knowledge proofs. And it was proposed by the EU committee and may become part of the updated legislation. The European Union is famous for its ambient or ambivalent, <laughs> ambient, amb ambivalent relationship with privacy. On the one hand, it was the first place in the world to apply strict data protection regulations. On the other hand, its central bank digital currency project lacks the anonymity standards of private cryptocurrencies. Nevertheless, last week, EU lawmakers made a vital step to embrace privacy in the space of citizens' digital identities. Mm. Mm. Let's read between the lines here. Privacy from other individuals, not privacy from the government, right? And this is really key to understand here. On February 9th, the Industry Research and Energy Committee included the standard of zero-knowledge proofs in its amendments to the European Digital Identity Framework. The last update was voted in by 55 votes to 8 in the committee. The draft will now proceed to the uh, uh, triluge phase of negotiations. While the latest draft is still not available publicly, the public release specifies that EU citizens will be granted full control of their data with the option to decide what information to share and with whom. The new EID would allow citizens to identify and authenticate themselves online via a European digital identity wallet while having to resort to commercial providers, as is the case today, a practice that raised trust, security, and privacy concerns. This all sounds great on the face, right? Like, it, I think if it wasn't a government-run identity system, if it was fully trans, uh, not transparent, but fully uh, decentralized, then I would say this makes sense, right? We get into a position where we have a decentralized identity and we can utilize that and supply that to whom, whomever we wish, including governments, right? So I have complete autonomy and control over my data. I can provide that to the U.S. government if I wish. I can provide that to the EU government if I wish. But it ultimately is up to my own personal preference on who I decide to provide that to. This is kind of an interesting in-between where it sounds like to me the, the selling point is, hey, we're going to be the government, but we're going to come in, we're going to give you a digital ID, and that digital ID is going to allow you to basically take control of your data back you know, in the form of something like Tiki, which we've had on the channel before. And then you will make sure we regulate and you can basically decide on who you provide that data to. But it's still ultimately controlled by a centralized entity. So that's where I kind of like throw up a red flag. Today's sponsor is BT Miners. BT Miners has been a longtime sponsor of the channel and a proven reliable source for ASIC miners. If you're looking to purchase ASIC hardware from Bitcoin to Dogecoin miners, they are available for purchase on bt-miners.com. BT Miners is a trusted source by both asicminervalue.com and cryptominer.com. Dot com. Follow the affiliate link in the description and tell them SOAT sent you to support the channel. As Jonas Fredrickson, the senior director of the EU government affairs at Circle has noted on Twitter, quote, the proposal would facilitate the emergence of new business models and opportunities in the digital economy. As companies develop innovative products and services that rely on zero knowledge proofs and EID solutions. Zero knowledge proofs have recently been at the center of researchers' attention as a possible means to ensure regulatory compliance and privacy in digital currencies. The joint paper by San Francisco based MENA Foundation, operator of the MENA protocol, German Hock Offhauser Lamp Bank, and the Interdisciplinary Center for Security, Reliability, and Trust of the University of Luxembourg showed how exactly the zero proofs could be connected to Europe's EIA, EIDAS electronic identity system. So once again, you can have these zero proofs that are then tied into a current centralized system, the EIDAS, right? 
However, not everyone is convinced by that solution. Writing for Coin Telegraph, Balaz uh, Nemethi, the CEO of Very Labs and co-founder of KYC DAO, claimed that when proofs alone are insufficient and personal information sharing between the participants of a transaction is essential, relying only on off-chain solutions is advised. So there you go. What do we have? We have a weird dystopian future upon us. We have two paths to take. I always talk about this, these two paths. I just want to reiterate them. We have centralization and decentralization. Those are the two paths we can go down. We can use blockchain to do either one, right? The problem is, is as we centralize any sort of these controls, we can put ourselves as individuals in a compromised position, right? Specifically as it pertains to freedoms and specifically in this case the final freedom which in the west at least would be financial freedom right because at the end of the day the way the the factors in which they influence you to become a slave right let's talk about the matrix slave the nine to five slave right the 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 consumer slave that, that is what i'm referring to by that, I mean, basically, you're enslaved by an economic system that forces you to constantly uh, work for someone else in particular, uh, pay someone else to supply whatever uh, features you want, what, a nation state in general, and never actually get to a position where you are satisfied as an individual or financially free. That's kind of the slavery system I'm referring to here you you aren't going to be able to get out of that unless you are able to actually decentralize that, right? And put it into the hands of every individual, at least in my humble opinion. These are my thoughts. I'd like to listen to your thoughts and opinions on this in live chat and down in the comment section below. Thanks for checking out this clip from the Crypto Mining Show. You can check out the full episode here or more crypto content down here. Also, I'd like you to check out my locals page at sonofatech.locals.com where you can become a member for free or choose to be a $5 a month supporter that unlocks additional content.